I'm missing my coffee shops right now and missing cold brew coffees this time of year. What's well, happening everybody? So in today's video what I wanted to talk to you guys about was how clean eating is making you fat. Do me a favor please, get out of here. Get out of here man, shit, I'm saying. I know, I know, but bear with me a second whilst I just explain exactly what I'm trying to get at. See, most people, when they go on a diet, they follow this kind of approach of thinking that they have to suffer. They think that they have to cut everything out of their diet that they enjoy in order to lose weight. You know, you've got to clean up your diet. It's got to be 100% clean. You go out for a meal with a friend. You tell them you're on a diet. You eat this particular thing. They judge you. They say you can't be on a diet because you can't eat that particular thing. At the end of the day, society has convinced us that in order to be on a diet and to be losing weight you think that you have to be struggling and you have to be suffering you think that you can't have chocolate you can't have crisps you can't have foods that you enjoy you can't drink a bit of alcohol you have to be 100 percent clean eating in order to be successful on your diet and that is not true in actual fact that's probably the worst approach for most people and this is exactly why people's diet fail and this is why clean eating is making people fat because you go on a diet which in your mind means I've got to cut out this, 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 all these things, all these things that you enjoy, all these things that now have an impact on the way that you live your lifestyle because a lot of those things are incorporated into the enjoyment and socializing aspect of your life. Now what happens is you get to a stage where yes maybe you lose some weight you know four, five, maybe six weeks you can push it to following this clean eating and restrictive diet. Then what happens is you get to a point where you're fed up, you feel tired, you're lethargic, you're missing the taste of your favorite foods, you're missing going out for a beer with your friends or having a couple of glasses of wine in the evening. And then what happens is finally that day comes when you crack. You have that thing, you go all out on it and you can't resist it. And this is where the binge happens. It normally happens on a weekend, but you then start binge eating then what happens is the guilt kicks in you feel bad you were so good on your diet for so long now you've screwed up you're never going to be good at dieting so you decide to throw in the towel what happens over this period of time is because you are down demotivated you start emotional eating and then you get to the point where you actually regain the weight that you've lost and a little bit more and now you're back to square one but a little bit further and the issue with this is You'll feel like this for a little while, then it'll get to the stage where you're like, actually, I feel a bit crappy about myself and you start doing something about it again. And you go on to that restrictive clean eating or what you call clean eating diet where you reduce everything that you enjoy and then you end up in this binge cycle again and you go round and round and round and round in circles. So the idea of clean eating is making you fat is what is happening is you're going on these strict diets, getting to a point where you binge and then you gain weight, you go strict, you binge, you go strict, you binge. And then because you're so miserable when you go through that clean eating phase and that dieting phase, you're now questioning whether actually that body that you desire is even worth it. And here's the thing, if you was to incorporate a little bit of what you enjoy all the time, because you have a diet, you already have a diet, you have a particular lifestyle. Don't get me wrong, some aspects of your lifestyle will have to change. You will have to incorporate new things. You won't be able to go and eat whatever you like. You might have to start moving a bit more. You might have to start incorporating some sort of exercise that you enjoy and you like. But in order for your diet to be successful, you shouldn't eliminate any of the foods you enjoy entirely, unless, you are planning on never consuming those foods ever again and you're planning on eliminating them from your diet altogether. What you need to do is you need to understand how many calories a day you need to consume to lose weight and then incorporate some of those foods you enjoy into your diet regularly so it doesn't feel like you're on a strict diet and then you'll get results. The results may be slower and more gradual than when you go on that super restrictive diet but you're gonna get long-term sustainable results that are gonna last because they fit in with your lifestyle. You now can go out for a couple of beers with your friends. You can have a couple of glasses of wine at home in the evening if that's how you unwind. You can have your favorite chocolate bar at the weekends. You can have birthday cake on a Wednesday night when it's no one's birthday because you have understood how 
important it is to include foods you enjoy within your diet to lose weight. And actually, a diet that includes those foods is what's going to probably end up making you skinny, not the diet that eliminates them. That is how clean eating will make you fat. Oh my God! Wow!